What's up, everybody? This is Max Cavalera, Soulfly. You listen to Vulgar Display, a podcast. Stay brutal. Welcome to the Vulgar Display of Podcast, fellas. We got a special guest online. This man needs no introduction. He no. is a metal legend. We have Max Cavalera from Soulfly. Max, how's it going? Doing good, man. Good to be talking to you guys on this Sunday afternoon, almost nighttime here in Phoenix. You guys live in Phoenix, right, when you're not on the road, but uh, you stay pretty active on the road and, and on the road a lot. I am, yeah. We actually live in uh, this week to South America Right after that, we go to Japan with Soulfly. Try to stay stay as busy as we can now that the world is finally opening up again, you know, and right. we can go back to concerts and all the things we love, you know. And we're glad to have you back. So we actually came down, seen you at uh, in Memphis at Growler's Pub with uh, 200 Stab Wounds. Mm-hmm. Oh, right on. Yeah, that was a fun show. Yeah, Hell it was yes, great. It was, yes. show. Great time. The whole tour was great. I, I, it's always fun playing with the... Uh, Playing with Dino, you know that he's a Dino's gray, and two hundred stab wound guys were awesome too. Yeah. It was, that was just a fun tour. Hell yes, they are. I got a question. Uh, how did you find out about two hundred stab wounds? Um, well, I kind of keep track a little bit of some of the newer bands. You know, I I'm I'm a fan of the of metal myself. You know, sure. like uh, so I I like a lot of the new stuff that is coming up, like Dam and Undeaf. Yeah, hell yeah. You know, some other stuff, uh, Antichrist, Sig Machine, and I just, I just love the heavy stuff, man. And they were on the list of, of bands that were being suggested for us to do the tour. And I was, uh, when I heard their name, I was like one of the guys going, oh, yeah, let's put them on. Hell yeah. You know, <laughs> yes. it was like yeah. I was fighting to get them on the tour. So uh, and it was great because they were, they were amazing, cool guys, cool band, know their stuff. Sure. Very respectful of the old schoolers like us you know <laughs> yeah absolutely. Uh, absolutely but yeah man they're great and uh yeah anytime you can have a chance to give somebody a hand like that it's always great you know because we we had a i had my share of of people that helped us along the way back in the day you know mm-hmm. like you know pantera and ministry all but all of those men took us on tour back in the day so kind of like i like to do that for the younger bands absolutely and i know they appreciated the shit out of it Oh yeah, they're great guys, and you know we actually do it. We did that. That uh, we end up doing that. A Cannibal Corpse Haybreed cover. Yeah, yes, the, the Haybreed. Oh, yes, yeah. Last Breath. Yeah, yeah. solid. Yeah, Last yeah. Breath with a little bit of, of of the Cannibal jam in there. Yeah. yeah, a lot of fun. I love doing stuff like that. It just for sure. Just makes the tour more fun for everybody. Absolutely. Yeah. How did you guys end up with those two songs, and especially the Haybreed song? Did you yeah. guys talk it over, or was it something you suggested? Actually, that was uh, Steve. He's uh, the singer of 200. That was his suggestion. Um, I like to play anything, man. I just like to play, you know? Yeah, for sure. For sure. Uh, but yeah, I, I'm, I, I love the early Haybreed stuff. That, mm-hmm. that first record kicks ass. It's heavy as hell. It's great. You know, I, I sometimes we like to do some old school. I think I did uh, I did Death, Zombie Ritual. It was one of those, but I did it with the Toxic Holocaust guy. Oh, cool. Oh, cool. Yeah. Oh, no, it was Evil Dad. Yeah, Evil Dad from Death, from Screaming Bloody Gore. We did Black Metal with, uh, uh, that was with uh, Immolation guys and, and uh, Full of Hell. Yes. That was a lot of fun, too. Any chance I got to do, like, a cover, a fun cover song? Yeah, sure. I know that we're going to play Roots in South America right mm-hmm. now, uh, like this week. And I think we're going to add a, a Brujeria song to our set. So oh, I think cool. we're doing La Migra. <laughs> They're going to lose their um, shit over that one. Big time. Yeah, yeah, I gotta, I gotta practice my Spanish for that one. <laughs> it's pretty close to Portuguese, so I should be okay. 
talking about these new bands and everyone that you've mentioned, I'm a fan of, you know, the 200 Stab Wounds, the Undeath, the Creeping Death. It seems like there's a little bit of a revitalization of metal. You know, what do you think of the current state of metal now? I think it's good, man. You know, um, you, you're right. There is the feels like there's always some new bands coming up. I mean, a couple of years ago, there was like, I, I love when Power Trip came on the scene in mm-hmm. uh, 2017. I think they put out... Um, uh, they put out that great record, uh, Nightmare Logic. Oh yeah, right. Uh, I love that record. I thought it was, you know, it was one of the reasons I actually wanted to work with Arthur. We, we work on on Totem. One of the main reasons was because of what he did on on uh, Nightmare Logic. Yeah. So you know, Gay Creeper also came out a couple years ago. Hell yes. Yes. There's always cool stuff coming up. You just got to keep your ears open. You know, I'm not one of those guys that grow old and do, I don't associate myself with the young bands anymore. That's not for me. I, I like to stay in contact with the young with the young guns and uh sure it's cool they're all fans of, of my stuff anyway especially the old stuff you know they're they're really uh they're very respectful to the old stuff and and uh yeah so i get you know just try you know get in touch with them and trade shirts and whatnot and mm-hmm. and uh just try to uh get them on tours and stuff we just did the uh beneath the remains tour we had they're not that um that young but we had we had Warbringer, yes, mm-hmm. which was really cool, like a lot of trash stuff. It's just cool. I, I just love metal. Same, you know, same. You know, That's love, why we're I here right the now. <laughs> yes, that these bands, but you know, they don't get a lot of love outside. You know, they get a lot of love on 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 uh, some love on Liquid Metal. Plays a little bit of Undap, I, I notice, mm-hmm. but I play some when I do my my playlists. I did a playlist for Spotify, so I put two hundred stab wounds in there. Awesome, and, yes. And uh, some other stuff I listen to at the moment, um, Frozen Soul and stuff like that. But uh, yeah, I just uh, I like the young stuff. I like the new stuff. Looking forward to more. You know, there's there's a lot of cool stuff. Uh, also in uh, Europe, you know, there's like Celestial Sanctuary in the UK. Mm-hmm. Bowser from Switzerland. I love those guys as well. Just uh, just like the heavy stuff, you know. Same. Absolutely. Yes. You're speaking to the choir yes, here. Exactly. <laughs> yeah, man. You got you got you. You know, yeah. it's great. Yes. It's great stuff. There like I say, gotta keep keep passing the torch, but it's cool to see all the the older guys still rocking too. You know, I just saw a Hellhammer at at the MDF. I stayed one extra day just to see Hellhammer and it was like Goosebumps, man, watching Tom Warrior doing Hellhammer was like a dream come true for me. Hey, that's where we're at right now, buddy. <laughs> yeah, and then it was like, you know, for me, playing Beneath the Remains, I see the motivation on the fans, mm-hmm. how much they love to hear the old stuff. Uh, I love to play, and, you know, so for me, it's great. Like, I love the fact that I have one foot on the, on the past. I get to do all this great Sepultura records that, was, that I was part of it. And, uh, you know, I get to do new Soulfly as well, so it's, it's awesome. Yes. Yep. So, Max, uh, you bringing up the new SoFly. We got new SoFly coming at us in August, on August 5th, right, Totem? Can you kind of go through how that was uh, written? You know, I think I've read, you know, you and Zion wrote that for the last two years, and we've already gotten three songs off of it, which are fucking bangers. Yes. Kind of walk us through the the new album. Yeah, that sounds about right. I spent about a year with Zion going to practice and kind of like molding the record with him, you know, making the riffs. Because you know, to me, it always goes back to the simplicity of making riffs. Because that's 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 my thing, man. That's that, uh, that's what I am. I'm a riff man, riff lord, whatever you call it, riff vortex. You know, so I just sit and write riffs like for hours. And uh, sometimes, uh, if you have somebody to play with, like I had Zion, that makes it even easier, more fun too. You get to bounce ideas off somebody. So. We did that for about a year, and then we entered the studio with Arthur, and Arthur was pivotal on this record because he really helped a lot. He's a great musician, so he had his guitar with him, so we ended up jamming a lot of the stuff. And uh, yeah, I'm, I'm super happy with the record, man. I think it's like, this is one of the most uh, savage Soulfly records I've done in a long uh-huh. time. You know, <laughs> it's like really old school sounding. Uh, in fact, I think uh, anybody that liked the old, Max stuff is gonna love this record, especially if you like Beneath the Remains and Schizophrenia. This is for you, you know. This is like yes, that yes. kind of record. Um, it's still, there's some. Uh, it's gonna be some new things on it. Like there's a 10 minute song that closes the record that's really unique and unusual. There's an instrumental that sounds kind of more like gothic rock, like like The Cure and Sisters of Mercy. Oh, nice! Um, wow. 
Wow. Okay. There's a there's a video we're making for Totem. I think that's gonna drop right during when the when the album drops, and that's all done in Navajo Nation. It's incredible, and it's, it's gonna be an incredible video. Um, I got a lot of contacts with the Navajo tribe, and uh, we're friends. We're, I know the president, and we did this amazing video with them. That's going to be the totem video. That's going to be insane. One of the coolest videos I've done in a long time. So, so yeah, we're just uh, excited. It's been four years since the last Soulfly ritual. And I think n- not not be- not because I'm I'm in it, but I think Totem is much better record. It's it's just more ferocious, more powerful, and and, and more it's more aggressive and more uh, energetic than Ritual. And I think you know a lot of people are going to really like, especially Side A. I think Side A of Totem is going to be a. I mean, you guys heard the three songs already, but uh, yeah. oh yeah, yes, yeah. And out of those three songs, uh, the side, I think Side A has has uh, has five songs, so you guys already heard three. <laughs> it's uh, it's gonna be fun to play this one live, man. That's all I gotta say. It's just, and I think when I play field upon field, it's covering the vial, superstition. That's just gonna be banger after banger. It's gonna be <laughs> yes, great. bring all the yes, bangers. Sir. Yes. <laughs> How important is like song choice, like song order in the album? Are you a big part of like where things get placed on the album? I like doing that. I think that's important because I think when you create a record. You create an album, you know. You're not just doing song. Although some people look at it as, as songs, especially the in, the internet generation. But you know, I look at it as vinyl. Actually, most more than anything else, I look at it side A and side B. And, and to me, so fly totem side A is more like fast, aggressive, and side B is more experimental, a little more groovier, and a little more adventures. So they're pretty different from each other, and I think that's what makes the album cool. You have kind of like two different kind of sides for the same record. Uh, but yeah, I think the order of the songs, it's, uh, it's important, especially if you're going to play them live. Like you get to do something like we just did, like playing uh, Beneath the Remains and Arise, you can see the power of those songs in that order, in the order they were, uh, they were put on the record. There's something that something cool about the order that you play those songs same with roots we're doing roots now in south america and uh we're playing every song like the whole record wow, and yes as you should the, the actually <laughs> the order is actually pretty cool like when when uh when you actually listen to it and and it's make us you can always do it at random and put it put it at random and hear them in a different order but uh we spend time during those making those song lists so they fit specifically to a record you know so that's why i say like um, when i mean totem side eight it's going to be savage as hell it's going to be just brutal and like full of bangers as you guys as you guys said you know yeah but uh yeah i think it's cool to to make sure because because if you if you if you don't do that there's a chance that some people might get turned off by the album like if you put right. if i would have put spirit animal as a second song and that's a 10 minute song Maybe it wouldn't be at school, you know? Maybe you listen to it, you'd be kind of like, oh, what is this? It's crazy. Why, why there's a 10-minute song on the second track of the record, you know? Makes more sense being the last track on the album to be 10 minutes. Yeah, so you mentioned a couple tours that you're getting ready to go out. When can we expect an American tour on the new album, Totem? Well, we're working on that right now. I think uh, we are... I hope we get to go out with Obituary. That's what I would really oh, like to do. Color. Uh, Very color. That, to me, that would be the coolest thing Especially because we got John on the record anyway, yeah, yeah. so it's uh, we got to, we get to do scouring the vial every night. So let's hope like next next year, because this year I'm pretty booked. We going to Japan in August, and then I'm going to Australia in December, and then Europe in October. Yeah, so is going to be busy to the end of the year. So I think <laughs> a U.S. tour probably January, January or February is going to happen. Yes, bring it. What's the SoFi lineup going to be this time around? Is Dino coming back out with you or somebody else? For Japan, we yeah we having Dino uh, with us. Um, he just knows the stuff really good, and and we don't really have time to get somebody else to learn everything right now. It will be kind of crazy because we don't even get to practice before the Japan show. It's one of those jump in the fire kind of shows. You right. know? Just take off and go. Just take off and go. Just, Absolutely. Yeah. Plug yeah. it in and you go. You know. Yeah. Hell yeah. But yeah, I mean the idea is actually this. This Dino idea has opened the door for more people to be part of it and i don't know like i thought a bit about already some maybe maybe like the 
like Moises from Crisium can be part of this in the future, or Tommy from Prong. You know, it's like there's a door open to do more of this kind of guest yeah, oh, yeah, thing for sure. with Soulfly. Yeah. And I think that's kind of cool. I think the fans will like that. I think it's uh, it's something that, that all of us can have fun with it until we actually either find another person to be a guitar player or whatever happens with that. And I'm not really worried too much worry about it. On the record, we had uh, Arthur and John Powers from Eternal Champion doing all the solos. Chris from Power Trip did a solo on the last track. Yeah. Came out great. I love what they did with the record. Um, really cool solos and uh, very, very different from everything else we heard in Soulfly. So that's, that was kind of cool, like new blood on it. But eventually, uh, by the time we do the U.S. tour, which is going to be in January, February, I think we're going to have a different guitar player than Dino, be somebody else that you guys probably will know and uh, <laughs> should be pretty exciting. <laughs> yeah, and that is cool. I'll, I'll speak from a fan's point of view. That is cool. Even when we went down and seen you, and we've seen you a ton of times. Yes. We went down to Memphis to see you, and uh, just seeing Dino up there, and, you know, we don't always get to see Dino, and maybe even he played a few, you know, uh, Fear Factory riffs here and there. Yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah. yeah, that's cool for the fans, too, it, just kind of bringing that metal family together. Right. And, and it's always been something I thought was really cool about Soulfly, and it's just kind of the – kind of a revolving door of uh, members you know you go to so yeah, you see that all always these happened from the beginning man and yeah so that's, mm -hmm. it's actually like it's part of the soul flight history it's always to have different guests and things like that you know so we keep like i'll keep my ears open like i'm, I'm not for sure who's gonna be i mean we had daniel gonzalez from possessed on the on the beneath the remains yeah that was cool and too. that was freaking amazing then you know daniel yes. kill it he was he was awesome so, yeah, I mean, we never know. Maybe even Daniel can come and do some stuff with us for a little bit. He's very, very old school, and he just looks great on the stage and has a total, like, death thrash vibe. Right. But, uh, yeah, we'll see what happens, you know. We're joined here with the legend, the man himself, Max yes. Cavalera yes. from Legendary. Soulfly <laughs> and all the all the bands that you guys know him from. This is the Vogue Display of Podcast. You're going to be going out and catching the uh, new Soulfly album, Totem. It's going to be out August 5th. We have three released songs right now on all the music platforms that you're going to go check out. And then if you're lucky enough to be in Japan, you're going <laughs> to get all those all those before America. Yes. But uh, eventually next year we'll be on the American tour. We're going to come catch you in the city, Max. Once the record is out, let's do another one. We we can uh, do a more in-depth interview about the record. And, uh, yeah, you know, I promise you'll be back on uh, Vulgar Display of Podcast. Yes. We're, we're going to hold you to that, though. Yes. Oh, yeah, you can. <laughs> you have no idea what you just meant to us. That's amazing. Hey. Met, metal dreams complete. And I do want to send a shout-out to Gloria. She's been huge and instrumental yes. and very generous Thank to you. us mm -hmm. in setting us up with this interview and talking to you. So, And I know you're a family man. It's one of the things I love about you is that when you go out on tour, you take everybody with you. It's the whole yes. crew. It's the whole tribe, right? Yeah. Yeah, man, that's always been the way, you know. <laughs> Does that make touring a little bit easier, having everybody there with you? Yeah, you know, from from uh, from time to time, there's always. Uh, I mean, like Gloria, probably pretty much goes on every tour, being being uh, our manager and, and being that we we're married. But um, <laughs> like, it changes from tour to tour. Like right now, going to South America is only my brother that's going to be there. Okay, you know, right, that's right. family. But now, but Japan, Zion is going to be there. You know, my son playing yeah, drums sure, and. Sure. It does make a little, a, a little uh, easier. But I, I think even the crew is kind of is like family right now. We are having the same guys for twenty years. Oh, for sure, yeah. yeah. And then, to a, to a certain extent, the fans are a continuation of that. Like I see so many fans that I've been seeing for so many years. I start recognizing them. You know, you just see oh, them on the front row and like, oh shit! Like I don't <laughs> yeah. know their names, but, but I know you their see faces. Them. Yes, you know, yes. you've been seeing and us I'll for like, twenty years. Oh shit! It's you like. You're still, yeah, I've we're still like fans. The last five Soulfly shows. <laughs> yeah, right, mean, you know? right. <laughs> really cool. Very, yes. All right, Max, we'll let you get to it, but we appreciate you being on Vulgar Display, a podcast. You're going to go out August 5th and catch the new Soulfly album, Totem, and you're going to go check out the three songs right now up on all the music platforms. Max, we appreciate your time. Yes, Max, thank, thank you. you. Thank yes. you, guys. Stay metal, all right? Stay Absolutely. metal. Stay metal. We appreciate you. All right, brother. All right. Take care. 